Good evening, campers, and welcome to the War Room aboard the Nightwish. I'm Commander Exorcist. Uh, we are code red tonight and operating silent in an undisclosed location for the next 48 hours because of what you see on your screen. This is a capture from a Galnet video that we received. Apparently there has been a massive invasion of the bubble. And so uh, the Nightwish is operating in kind of uh, incognito for the next 48 hours while we assess any potential dangers to us out here in the middle of nowhere. So, but before we get to today's uh, commentary, I want to say thank you to the disciples that make uh, this content possible. If you're interested in supporting my content, go to patreon.com forward slash commander exorcist. Pledge your support. This goes 100% to supporting this channel, keeping it ad free and supporting my other creative endeavors across social media. Okay, so before I get into reading the um, article tonight, I just want to comment on the video that you just saw. So the video you saw, we received via subspace communication from Galnet. And apparently the Stargoids, which uh, we've been tracking along with a number of other uh, commanders for the past month or so, have arrived. The first one, called Tyrannus. And uh, devastation has followed, as we expected. Um, you know, I think we're beyond the point. T today feels very somber. I think we're beyond the point of making fun of Dalton Chase, because he deserves it. Dip. But, um, you know, th thousands of people died aboard the Kingfisher. I was going to do an article about how the Kingfisher went out to meet one of these Stargoids, Tyrannus, and was subsequently uh, obliterated. And so we're stuck with uh, the aftermath of a number of what I would consider at this point to be just bad actors. You know, this is the aftermath of Salvation and his Proteus weapon. And then you have. Uh, the superpowers being woefully unprepared because of Xeno Peace movements, which completely ignore reality, like Dalton's movement um, and the Kingfisher. And, you know, I don't think that anyone really expected the Kingfisher to be a successful endeavor, but I don't think that we expected it to be so devastating. Anyway. Um, I don't want to make this video too long tonight because I've already got two or three minutes invested um, in the cutscene that I shared uh, before. So, um, the Tyrannus unleashes Thargoid invasion fleets. The Pilots Federation alert. The Tyrannus anomaly has arrived in the Hyades sector, FBN B7-6, triggering a ferocious wave of Thargoid attacks in the region. Multiple inhabited systems are experiencing wide-scale invasions by countless numbers of Thargoid vessels, with casualties expected to number millions in the coming days. Several systems have already reported a complete loss of human control, with ports abandoned amidst heavy losses. This is new, and this is terrifying. It, nobody is safe at this point. Um, the Thargoids are holding territory. They're taking starports. Not only are starports being shut down um, so that they can be repaired like we've seen in the past, but starports are being completely disabled and abandoned. So we're seeing uh, images and video of drifting Coriolis stations that are dead. Not, not disabled. They're dead. The Alliance Defense Force and the Federal Navy have responded by sending capital ships, which will support independent pilots and anti-Xeno squadrons. Neither superpower has entered the Hyades sector, from which the Thargoid fleets seem to be emanating. There have been conflicting descriptions of the rogue signal source itself, which finally slowed to a halt after weeks of faster-than-light travel. Dr. Lemmy LaRue a xenologist working for Professor Palin transmitted a garbled report describing Tyrannus as not a single object but a colossal swirling maelstrom of some kind before all contact was lost. I have seen video and can confirm that. Um, so far, I don't think we've seen anything solid. It looks like a cloud 
and a cloud within a cloud. And there's caustic objects of some kind that are swirling in the cloud. It seems like there's something in there, but it doesn't look like anyone's really able to get into the center at the moment and see what's going on. Now, it's interesting that um, Tyrannus was visible so far away, and it was so bright. It was this bright thing in the sky, and now you have kind of this consolidated, smaller cloud. It's still huge. It's like over a hundred and some kilometers in diameter, but I have a theory about that, as um, it seems like this thing is capable of um, of uh, expelling immense amounts of energy. And so if it's traveling a vast distance and it has some kind of super, uh, you know, super drive engaging that particular drive and expelling the energy necessary to cross that amount of space in such a short time, probably expanded the cloud and the visibility of this object to the point where we saw what we were calling the stargoids. Now that it's here, it doesn't necessarily need to expel that much energy to wipe out most of our ships and our um, stations. So it may not appear as big, um, but yeah. Uh, these initial reports have not been verified. They haven't been verified by Galnet, but I have seen videos of multiple commanders making their way into the cloud, and some of them aren't making it back out. So be careful if you're going in. Uh, many authorities consider them to be unreliable and exaggerated. Again, at this point, look at the burning stations. Look at the dead people. You've got all this going on, and you've still got authorities like, well, we're not really sure. We don't want to cause panic. It's time to panic. It really is. It's time to panic. If you're sitting on the couch and you're thinking everything is going to be fine, nobody's safe, and it's not going to be fine. So just be prepared. Be prepared. Explorers as well. Bring some kind of defense so that you can escape with your life. Warnings have been issued that the high D sector system is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Um, speaking to the Alliance Tribune, Admiral Rachel Zeigler remarked that our focus at present is on defending the populated systems from swarms of highly aggressive Thargoids. Whatever this maelstrom actually is, it's clearly been sent with the purpose of eradicating human influence in the region. And at some point, when we fired, when the Proteus wave was fired, um, it sent a message. It sent a message to the Thargoids that we're not just insects. Um, we're not just a bug to be pushed aside. Um, we're a threat. We can be dangerous. Humans can be dangerous. And so the Thargoids are responding in kind. And this is only going to get worse. And I'm, I'm really curious to see where it goes. But that's all I have for now. Um, I'm not going to dive too much into this. Just really wanted to say um, be careful out there. There's a lot going on. It's very dangerous for... Um, everyone at the moment, and and I understand there's there's plenty of people out there that don't want to fight, that um, aren't interested in combat, and in this particular case, there's opportunities from what we're hearing from some of our allies. Um, there's opportunities for um, for archaeology of the um, for biology for xeno research. There's going to be there's rescue missions going on. There's um, there's all kinds of stuff happening, and so. There's something for everybody. It's just that everything is in such a, a state of flux at the moment that it really just feels chaotic. And so um, this message is delayed for a couple of hours because of our, our increased security concerns aboard the Nightwish. Just making sure that, um, that we are safe. I was kind of bragging about us being out in the middle of nowhere, but um, this, is, this is really something. Um, it really is. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. And... Um, I will continue to broadcast as until the bitter end. But good luck, humanity. We've stirred a hornet's nest, and um, it was only a matter of time before something like this happened. And so hopefully we can get to a point where, um, yeah, got to protect ourselves at some point. Fly safe out there, commanders. 07, and um, I'll see you later.